So this is a this is a bit of a crazy story, but one that I think is more than worth telling in Colorado. And the school board of the Jefferson County School District decided that they wanted to change their curriculum of AP US history classes to quote emphasize patriotism and downplay civil unrest in the teaching of US history. In other words, they want to omit the parts involving civil disobedience, you know, like the civil rights, women's suffrage movement, underground railroad, like those are all things that could be downplayed. Their reasoning behind this curriculum changes they think teaching about it and talking about it will encourage students to engage in civil disobedience. Which is where it gets ironic, because this has backfired spectacularly. Basically, there are these high school students in Lakewood, Colorado, who are currently fighting for an accurate teaching of history in their schools. When this decision was announced, students started holding walkouts and protests and they made signs and then they went to highways and streets and held up their signs. Some of their signs said things like education without limitation, history should not be edited, teach us the truth, and there's nothing more patriotic than protesting. Which is true. You can see for yourself in the articles below and the photos. These students even got together a petition with thousands of signatures, presented it to the school board and assembly, saying, please don't change the history curriculum. And the school board still voted to revise the curriculum. <laughs> Which is when the college board got involved, because they're like, if you change the curriculum, we're not gonna let you be in AP US history class anymore. That actually has, seems to be scaring them a little bit. Anyway, it's still ongoing. But I mean, imagine if the college board hadn't stepped in and if it was just left to these kids. So I just love that these students are, are being vocal. They know better and I think that's awesome. But why? But why do I know all this? My sister actually works at one of these schools that's affected and her role at the school is that she works in the library. Like she knew it wasn't a, a you know super wealthy school. She knew it wasn't like a lot of the other schools in Colorado that have a lot of funding. In fact, she's the only one currently working in this school's library. And their book collection sucks. Like, it really sucks. It hasn't been updated in two years, which means a lot of books are not in the library for students to read. For example, one question my sister gets asked every day is, do you have The Fault in Our Stars? But every time she's just like, no. <laughs> we don't have a copy. Because then she looked up the book buying budget. The book buying budget was zero. <laughs> so then she talked to the principal and they seem kind of open, like, oh yeah, okay, like we'll give you some money to buy books, but she's just kind of nervous that she won't have a lot of new books to give these kids. It seems to be the whole attitude towards this library. They don't want to invest in the library because they're like, well, the students aren't interested in the library. And it's like, but, but maybe they would be if they had new books circa the last two years. So this is, this is where I think we can come in, or at least I want to do a little something. So today I went online and bought a copy of The Fault in Our Stars and this book, Tisha, um, to send to these kids because I really want them to have a copy of John Green's book. And Tisha is a book that has been a favorite of mine, was very, affected me a lot growing up and it's, also about a teacher who engages in civil disobedience. So I thought it'd be kind of, it's a great, it's, I thought it'd be appropriate, but it's like a great book. It's like really, really good. So what I'm thinking is if you have an extra book lying around that a YA book or something that you think would be relevant or interesting to high schoolers, um, that we could send it to them. I'll include the address below of where you can send these books. I've included just a list of, just a big wish list of all these books, you know, I mean, whatever donations happen, that's awesome. If it's just my two books that go in, at least they'll have a copy of John Green's book. The Divergent series has been one students have been asking about. Pretties by Scott Westfield. The Wake Trilogy by Lisa McMahon. The Way of the Shadows. Eclipse by Stephanie Myers. And manga. There's a club that loves manga at the school. Also, students have been coming in and asking for nonfiction books about rap and hip hop music. So if you have any of those, you can make some kids in Jefferson County Colorado very happy. And yeah, if we have duplicate copies, like that's totally fine. There are multiple schools that they can be donated to. And also it's not the worst thing to have like five copies of The Fault in Our Stars, considering they have three copies of Ender's Game. Oh, but if you're not able to donate, which is totally fine, like don't feel bad. But if you wanna like spread this message about Jefferson County kids and books, feel free to tweet this video or share it. But yeah, I just think it'd be really cool to get the word out about these kids. And I think we could do something nice for them. Let's even do a hashtag, books for Jeffco. Jeffco is short for Jefferson County. All right, I think that's about everything. Jefferson County students, thank you for being so awesome and fighting for the preservation of accurate history. 
and it's you guys are being really inspirational so I hope you know that please enjoy them you don't have to read tissue if you do and you like it you should message me because that would like flip and make my day love that book okay take care guys <laughs>